Hello everybody and welcome to yet another Let's Play by Logan from Yang Yang Players. So, um, as you may have already known, uh, we are currently doing Billy Hatcher and a Giant Egg. But that won't stop me from doing a side project for the tedious parts. And uh, I hope you can hear me from microphones. You know. And, uh, we're also going back in here again. Man, it seems like it uh, seems like we- it's been a little bit since we've been there. Anyway, um, there's, uh, this game called Kirby's Adventure. It was my very first, uh, Kirby game. And, uh, it was also produced in 1993, which is a remarkably late time in, uh, in, uh, Nintendo Entertainment System history. So, um, let's get started with this. Yeah, and there is no multiplayer, unfortunately. Sadly. But, uh, you know what? It's mostly a solo game. But, um, there he is, Kirby. And, uh, I really like this game quite a bit, actually. And, uh, I actually played the Game Boy Advance game, uh, of this game, but it's pretty much the same, so, uh, yeah. So, um, this is how you play the game. You, um, do that sort of thing. And you also, um, it also, um, has him floating and whatnot. You can also suck enemies, which is his tr traditional trait. And is in almost every single Kirby game. And you can suck up these... Now, a new f thing in this game is that you can actually suck up enemies and obtain their powers. Which is a pretty cool thing. Uh... You can also use the like to drop that. And uh, I think from here on now it just shows all the powers. So um let's get started. Why don't we? Um I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a hundred percent let's play, but I'm gonna have to look up for some information on on that sort of thing off screen. So um anyway, let's just stop stalling and get started. Vegetable Valley. Which oh by the way, another thing about this game is that he lists all of his uh the area is out of food, which is a common thing. So, um, yes, uh, we have these blockades right here, which we can't go anywhere until we beat this level. Which we, let's go through. Okay, so, I think we just saw this. So, um, this is a, this is a Waddle D, and it can do a beam attack, in which it can kill two enemies at once. Now, um, get away from me. And there's our fifth and first hit in the game on the first darn level. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, this the NES version is kind of harder than uh, the Game Boy Advance version, strangely enough. But uh, you won't see that until like uh, later in the game. But anyway, let's. Oh, darn it! I screwed up right now. But uh, that guy gives fire, obviously. So um. Also, if you get a Waddle Dee, you get absolutely nothing. Just saying. Also, um, unlike other Kirby games, uh, there is actually a score thingy at the bottom, right there. So, um, that's just for, uh, interesting thought. Also, I hate it when enemies just make you drop your power up right on the first hit. It's kind of annoying, but they fix that in later Kirby games. Which you'll see. Um, yes, I do plan to do almost all of the uh, Kirby, 3D Kirby games, like, on the console. Anyway, this is Maximum Tomato, which restores all of your health, since it is Kirby's favorite food. Well, of course, it doesn't really tell you that, but, well, maybe it might have been shown by the thing that I just missed. But, anyway, first level completed. Yay! Oh, and also, uh, this... This bonus mini game in which I got fourth place on, and you get certain items that at the end begin. Uh, so yes, first level completed. Uh, when it's like that, I think it means that the entire thing is complete. So no use going back to that level. So um, how about we enjoy a f bit of a mini game right here, in which we uh do Kirby's. Um, oh crap, I screwed it up already. Well, shows how good I am at crane games. 
Yeah, we're never going to be let's playing that because it's pretty bad. Anyway, let's grab the Kirby, which hopefully won't cheat like a regular crane game and do that. Oh, apparently it's thankful. Yay! We got the Kirby. I think there's another one for. Ooh, two lives already. Yeah, like certain other Mario games of this generation, Kirby games usually gen generate uh, lives like crazy. Anyway, let's go into the second level. That thing is Goro, you cannot beat it. Absolutely no way to beat that thing. It's the classic invulnerable enemy. Uh, so yes. Oh, and also that's a Shuto. Also invisible and more annoying. Although, I guess you could say that they're equally annoying. Anyway, this is Cutter, in which you can actually uh, shoot, f go through things at a certain distance. This thingy is a warp star, which it will um, al also act as a door. It will kick massive stuff later on. Also, um, those things are... Um, crap, I forgot their names. So, um, mini boss time! Um, this is Mr. Poppy, which will come... This thing actually becomes quite, uh, common in, in the other Kirby games. Oh, trust me, they do, um... Oh, darn it. Okay, I really hope I don't lose a life to this guy, because he's the first mini-boss! I mean, that, that would just be lame. Okay, let's get the bomb, and... There we go! Now, this guy is special because he has a crash attack right here. In which, um, in which I could show right here. Kills everything on the screen, which, with massive Billy Mays, Billy Mays? Um, with massive, with massive explosions. Which is pretty nice. <laughs> I mean, everybody likes explosions, right? Hi, Purple Waldo. How are you today? I'm, I'm just gonna kill you on a Gordo. That sounds cool. Killed by a Waddle Dee. <laughs> I'm not the greatest at this game. Well, used to be good, but uh, then I was inexperienced. Quite unfortunate. Also, I noticed that you go a heck of a lot faster than in uh, the Game Boy Advance remake, which is interesting, to say the least. Also, there's a Poppy Jun guy on a ladder. Also, we're not going to get that max up to Mano since it's kind of pointless since we have full life. Hello, Mr. Sweeper guy. In other games, you have a power-up, but, uh, you don't in this one. I'm sorry. So, what the heck is up with the nothing thingy right at the bottom? It looks kind of suggestive. Let's just leave it at that. Also, so this is the sword. This is a pretty cool, uh, thing, in which you can slash enemies. Just like the cutter, only that it's handheld. And, uh, that's the second level. Yay! Alright. So, um, we got 2,000 points this time. I like pointless points. They're nice. Okay. Okay, I think... I think that should be enough for... You know what? Let's just go and do the third level. Because, hey, why not? Okay, shoot the cannons. Yeah, you'll find that these things are quite common. Also, you can uh, deflect them with the, the sword and any other item. Fire not recommended. Die, mister. <laughs> you know, another thing that I noticed that's not in the original is, uh, remake is that what I'll do do not come in various colors. They also, um, oh, that guy is not very nice. Die. Thank you. Oh, um, so this is the blaze thing. The fireball. Later to be called as the burning thing from, in the remake. Um, and I just lost it. Basically, it's, it's a fire thing. Which, um, which was confusing to many until they, uh, did it in later installments, because it just didn't make any sense that there was going to be a fire, that it would just be one of them. 
frog! Dang it, not even the first episode we're on our first frog. I'm kind of scared. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, let's not go up there. Let's just not. <laughs> because I'm, I don't want to die. No, 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 no. Let's just go really, really fast. Oh, um, there's a Maxim Tomato. I really think we should get that. Alright, die. Alright, yay! We don't get to die! Oh, and I just remembered what, what that thing was. So it, it, that is actually a burrow, but... But, um, this will be it for the episode. So, um... Uh, next time on Let's Play... Bill uh... Next time on, uh, Let's Play, uh... Kirby's Adventure! We are going to go into go into more of Vegetable Valley and take on that minigame. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye!